In this video, I'm going to go through the answers to the questions on the binomial expansion. If you want to try the exam questions, you can find a link to them in this video's description. So for this first question here, we have a bracket raised to the power 4. So we need the fourth row of Pascal's triangle, that's 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So if we compare this to a plus b to the n, then a is equal to 3, and b is equal to plus x. So we need to do a to the power 4, so 3 to the power 4, plus 4 lots, that's from Pascal's triangle, of 3 to the power 3 times x, plus 6 lots of 3 squared times x squared, plus 4 lots of 3 times x cubed, plus x to the power 4. Now we just simplify each term, so 3 to the power 4 is 81. 3 cubed is 27, times that by 4 you get 108, so it's plus 108x. 3 squared is 9, times that by 6 you get 54, and x squared is x squared, so 54x squared. 4 times 3 is 12, so we've got plus 12x cubed, and then finally x to the power 4. This time we have a bracket raised to the power 6, so we need the 6th row of Pascal's triangle, which is 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. If we compare this to a plus b to the power n, then x is equal to a here, and negative 2 is equal to b. So we start with a to the power 6, so that's x to the power 6, plus 6 lots of x to the power 5 times negative 2, plus 15 lots of x to the power 4 times negative 2 squared, plus 20 lots of x to the power 3 times negative 2 cubed, plus 15 lots of x to the power 2 times negative 2 to the power 4, plus 6 lots of x times negative 2 to the 5 plus negative 2 to the 6. So now we'll just go through and simplify. So we've got x to the power 6. We've got 6 times negative 2, so that's negative 12. So negative 12x to the power 5. We've got negative 2 squared, so that's 4 times 15, that's 60, so plus 60x to the power 4. We have negative 2 cubed, so that's negative 8. Negative 8 times 20 is negative 160, so negative 160x cubed. We have 2 to the power 4, that's 16. 16 times 15 is going to give you 240, so 240x squared. Negative 2 to the power 5 is negative 32, so negative 32 times 6, we get negative 192x. And negative 2 to the power 6, is 64, so plus 64. For this question, we have a bracket to the power 5, so we need the fifth row of Pascal's triangle, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. If we compare this to a plus b to the n, then a is equal to 1, and b is equal to 2x. So we'll start with a to the power 5, so 1 to the power 5. Then we plus 5 lots of 1 to the power 4 times 2x. Then we plus 10 lots of 1 to the power 3 times 2x squared, plus 10 lots of 1 to the power 2 times 2x cubed, plus 5 lots of 1 times 2x to the power 4, plus 2x to the power 5. Now we'll just simplify, so 1 to the power 5 is just 1, 5 times 1 to the power 4 is just 5, and then times 2x is plus 10x, 2x all squared is 4x squared, and then we need to times this by 10 and times 1, so plus 40x squared. 2x all cubed is 8x cubed, then times 10 and times 1 squared, just gives you plus 80x cubed. 2x to the power 4 is 16x to the power 4, and then we times this by 5 and 1, so we get plus 80x to the power 4. And 2x all to the power 5 is 32x to the power 5. For this question, we have a bracket to the power 4, so we need to do the fourth row of Pascal's triangle, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. We have an a value of 1, and b is negative 3x. So we start with a to the power 4, so 1 to the power 4. Then we plus 4 lots of 1 cubed times negative 3x, plus 6 lots of 1 squared times negative 3x squared, plus 4 lots of 1 times negative 3x cubed, and the final term negative 3x to the power 4. So let's simplify 1 to the power 4 is just 1. If we do 1 cubed we get 1, times that by 4 is 4, and times negative 3 gives us negative 12x. If we do negative 3x all squared we get positive 9x squared, and times that by 6 and 1 squared is going to give you plus 54x squared. Negative 3x all cubed is negative 27x cubed, times this by 4 and 1 and you get negative 108x cubed, 
and negative 3x to the power 4 is positive 81x to the power 4. In this question the value of a is 2 and the value of b is x, and we're after the coefficient of x cubed. If we're going to get the term in x cubed then we must take b to the power 3, since that is x cubed. If we take b to the power 3 then we must take a to the power 2, since this 3 add this 2 must equal this 5. So we know the term will be 2 to the power 2 and then x to the power 3 but what about the coefficient? Well the bracket is to the power 5 so we need the fifth row of Pascal's triangle. The first number here corresponds to when we have 2 to the power 5, the next one 2 to the power 4, then 2 to the power 3, and this one is 2 squared. Remember in our term we said 2 would be raised to the power 2, so this is the coefficient we need. So we need 10 lots of 2 to the power 2 times x to the power 3, and if you simplify this, well 2 squared is just 4, so it's 40x cubed. So the coefficient of x cubed would be 40. In this one a would be equal to 2 and b would be equal to negative x. We want the coefficient of x to the power 5. If we're going to get x to the power 5 we need to take this term here 5 times and this one only once. Remember 5 and 1 must add up to make 6. Since the bracket is to the power 6 we need the sixth row of Pascal's triangle which is this one here. The first term would correspond to when we have 2 to the power 6 then 2 to the 5, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 3, 2 to the 2, and 2 to the 1. The one we wanted was 2 to the power 1, so we want this 6 here. So we have 6 times 2 to the power 1, times negative x to the power 5. Negative x to the power 5 will just give you negative x to the power 5, and 6 times 2 is 12, so we get negative 12x to the power 5, so the coefficient is negative 12. In this question here, a is equal to 3x and b is equal to negative 2. We want the coefficient of x squared. If we're going to get x squared we need this term here to the power 2, and since the total power is 4 this is also 2, so 2 add 2 gives you 4. We're in the fourth row of Pascal's triangle, so 14641. The first number here corresponds to when we take a to the power 4, so 3x to the power 4, 3x cubed, and 3x squared. And we know this is the one we want because we wanted 3x to the power 2, so we'll take this 6. We'll take 3x to the power 2 and also negative 2 to the power 2. To simplify this let's do 3x all squared first, that gets you 9. Negative 2 squared is a positive 4, so we need to do 6 times 9 times 4 and we'll get 216x squared. So the answer is 216. For this question the a would be 1 and the b would be plus ax. We want the coefficient of x squared, so we need to take this to the power 2 and if that's to the power 2, this must be to the power 5, since 2 add 5 makes 7. We need the 7th row of Pascal's triangle, that's this one here. So the first number corresponds to 1 to the power 7, then 1 to the power 6, then 1 to the power 5, and that's the one we wanted, we said we'd take 1 to the power 5, so we need 21. We times this by 1 to the power 5, and then ax squared. If we simplify this a little bit, well 1 to the power 5 is just 1, so we end up with 21, times 1, and then ax all squared is a squared x squared. So we have 21 a squared x squared. We're told in the question though the coefficient is 189. So 21 a squared x squared is equal to 189 x squared, in which case 21 a squared is 189. If you divide both sides by 21 you'll get a squared equals 9, and then if you square root both sides you'll get two values, a equals 3 or negative 3. In this question we have our a which is equal to b, and then confusingly our b is equal to negative x, and we want the coefficient of x to the power 5. So we need to take this to the power 5, which means we need to take this to the power 1, since 5 add 1 makes 6. The bracket is to the power 6, so it's the sixth row of Pascal's triangle. So this corresponds to when we have b to the power 6, b to the power 5, b to the 4, b to the 3, b to the 2, and b to the 1. And remember we wanted b to the power 1, so it's this 6 we need. So we have 6 times b to the power 1 times negative x to the power 5, which equals negative 6b x to the power 5. We're told in the question the coefficient is negative 120, so negative 120 x to the power 5 is equal to negative 6b x to the power 5. 
So negative 120 equals negative 6b. Divide both sides by negative 6 and you'll get b equals 20. In this question, the a is equal to 2c and the b is equal to plus x. We want the coefficient of x to the power 3, so we need to take this term to the power 3, so we need to take this term to the power 2, since 3 add 2 makes 5. The bracket is to the power 5, so we need the fifth row of Pascal's triangle. And this first one here corresponds to when we have 2c to the power 5, then 2c to the power 4, to the 3, to the 2, and we wanted 2c to the power 2, so it's this 10 we need. So we have 10 times 2c to the power 2 times x to the power 3. So this equals 10. 2c all squared is 4c squared and x cubed, which simplifies to give 40c squared x cubed. We're told in the question the coefficient is 360. So 360 x cubed is equal to 40c squared x cubed. In which case 360 equals 40c squared. Divide both sides by 40 and you'll end up with c squared equals 9. And then square root both sides and you'll get c equals 3 or negative 3. In this question the a is equal to 2 and the b is equal to dx. And we need the coefficient of x cubed. So we need this 3 times and this also 3 times since 3 add 3 makes 6. We're in the sixth row of Pascal's triangle. The first number here corresponds to 2 to the power 6, then 2 to the power 5, 2 to the power 4, and then the one we want, we wanted 2 to the power 3. So we need this 20 times 2 to the power 3 times dx all to the power 3. So we have 20, 2 cubed is just 8, so times 8, and then times d cubed x cubed. 20 times 8 is 160, so we get 160 d cubed x cubed. And we're told the coefficient in the question is 20,000. So 20,000 x cubed equals 160 d cubed x cubed. So 20,000 equals 160 d cubed. Divide both sides by 160 and you'll get d cubed equals 125. And then cube root both sides and you'll get d equals 5. For this question we have a bracket to the power 3 and it's the third row of Pascal's triangle so 1, 3, 3, 1. We have a which is equal to a and b which is equal to bx. We could expand to get all four terms of this one quite easily. So the first term would be 1 lots of a cubed, then plus 3 lots of a squared times bx, plus 3 lots of a times bx squared plus bx cubed. Now we're told in the question the coefficient of x is negative 150. We can see the term in x, it's this term here, and if you simplify that you'll get 3a squared bx in which case 3a squared b must be equal to negative 150. We're also told the coefficient of x squared is 60, that corresponds to this term here, and if you simplify this you get 3a b squared x, so 3a b squared must be equal to 60. We can simplify both of these a little bit, if we do the first one and divide by 3, we'd get a squared b equals negative 50, and if we divide the second one by 3, we'll get a b squared, equals 20. So we end up with two equations that we can solve simultaneously. To do this I'm going to look at the second equation and rearrange it to make a the subject, in which case a would equal 20 over b squared. I'm now going to substitute this back into the first of those equations, so replace a with 20 over b squared. So instead of a squared I have 20 over b all squared times by b equals negative 50. If I square this bracket I get 400 over b to the power 4, and then if you times by b you get 400b over b to the power 4. If we times both sides by b to the power 4 we'll get 400b equals negative 50b to the power 4. Now divide both sides by negative 50 and you'll get negative 8b equals b to the power 4. Then divide both sides by b and you'll get negative 8 equals b cubed. And finally cube root both sides and you'll find b is equal to negative 2. So we found the value of b, we just need a. To do this we'll substitute it back into one of those equations, probably the bottom one might be a bit easier. So now we know that b is equal to negative 2, this could be written as a times negative 2 squared equals 20. Negative 2 squared is just 4, so 4a equals 20, in which case a equals 5. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. 
Check out what I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.